Now that I'm on my domain controller, I'm going to open the Group Policy Management Console. And in this console, I will need to create a Group Policy object that will push the settings for my WSA server to all of the computers and uh, servers in my domain. And I'm going to expand the forest, then the NLB Lab domain. Go to the organizational unit that contains my uh, computers and servers at the moment. And uh, I don't have any, any uh, underlying OUs. So I'm going to right click and create a group policy to this in this domain and link it here. I'm going to name the policy WSUS clients and click OK. And then we are uh, good to uh, start enabling and start editing the um, group policy object settings so we can push the WSUS server to all of the computers that we require. So in order for us to achieve this, first we need to right click and click edit. And from here, we are going to uh, browse and configure the uh, settings within the group policy object. So what you need to do is you need to go under computer configuration, expand policies. Let me just make this a bit bigger. Not this one, this one. Okay. And then um, after that, you need to go to administrative templates and then Windows components and then Windows update. So I will scroll down and Windows update. There it is. So in here, you will see that you have uh, different group policy settings that you can configure but the settings that um, you can you need to configure is uh, the first one is configure automatic updates so i will double click on this setting and another window would appear currently the setting is not configured i'm going to enable this setting and you can see that the first drop down menu you have different option options. I suggest that you read um, some more about the different options on Technet because this video will become really lengthy. But on the right side, I can see that uh, the settings are explained as well. So you can read through them and select the best option for your environment. So I'm going to leave the default in here. And you can see that uh, I have a scheduled install, um, which you can configure uh, once the, every day or every Sunday or depending. So the, the basic thing is you want to do your servers. You want to update the servers in out of office hours. And if the clients are staying in the office as well during the night, you can update them as well in a different time frame. So what you can do is you can create one organizational unit for servers and one organizational unit for desktops. This is going to be a good idea to, for you to do. So I'm going to, um, let's say, do it on Friday because I like Friday and it's going to install everything, let's say, at 5. So after you configure the settings, you need to click apply and you will see that uh, straight away uh, the uh, configure automatic updates will become enabled. The other option that will be a handy option is um, to enable client side targeting. And what uh, this option would do is it's going to configure the clients to um, add themselves to the target computer groups in the WSS server. If you remember, I've talked a bit about the target groups, um, but uh, this is the option where you want to configure them uh, to, to go in this group. So I'm going to add a group called NLB computers. So I'm going to apply these settings as well. And this, although this group is not configured, oh, I made a typo. Okay, let's apply this. Although this group is not currently on the WSO server, I will show you how you can create this group. 
now that uh, I'm back on the WSS server, you can see this is the, the computers and currently all computers. So I don't have any computers uh, added to my WSS. These are the unassigned computers that will appear in here if they are not populated in the correct group. But what you want to do is you want to right click and add a computer group and name the computer group NLB computers and click add. Of course you can add different groups for example NLB servers, NLB computers, NLB desktops or laptops or even different offices so that uh, you will know which group corresponds to which office. So now that we configured the uh, client side targeting I'm going to close the group policy object I'm going to close the group policy setting only and uh, what I want to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to configure the last step which is to specify intranet Microsoft update service location. So this setting will basically tell to my, if I enable this, it will tell to my client uh, servers and desktops that uh, they need to pull the, uh, um, their Windows updates from my internal WS server instead of using um, an online Microsoft server. So I'm going to populate the settings and need to, you need to populate them with HTTP colon backslash backslash and the internal host name of your server. In my case it's NLB dash WSUS dash zero one and then you need to add the specific port 8530 in here so they can connect on this port and I'm going to copy the settings to the other three fields as well. So all the clients will connect to my server on port 8530. And it's important that this port is um, open on your firewalls if the client machines are going through the firewalls to this server. So I'm going to apply, click OK. And this is pretty much all that is needed to uh, configure the group policy settings for the WSUS. So I'm going to close the group policy editor and um, I'm going to leave the group policy management open for now. So we can troubleshoot if there are any problems with uh, the WSUS detection. In the meantime, I'm going to switch to my... Um, PC01 and if you remember uh, this is the uh, computer that we've uh, successfully deployed using a custom image with uh, MDT so if you want you can uh, check my videos um, how for how to deploy and customize images but for now I'm going to use this image to open a CMD so I'm just waiting for it to fully load CMD and I'm going to run the CMD as administrator and in here uh, this is basically I'm going to force this computer to register itself to the WSUS server so the command to do this is uauclt.exe and then detect now so I'm going to press enter and you can see that um, it's not giving me any any uh, errors or any um, other messages saying that it was successful. So let's switch to the WSUS and see if the command uh, did the trick in here. Another command, just before I continue, another command that you can use is if you are still not seeing the computer in the um, uh, computer objects uh, container on the WSUS server, uh, what you can run is GP update with the force switch. This will cause uh, the computer to re-download, reapply all the um, group policy settings. Um, and um, what you need to verify as well after you download, uh, re-download the updates is if you run GP result with R, you will wait and a lot of settings would appear. If you s if I scroll uh, up a bit, you will see that under applied group policy objects, I have the WSUS clients. So this one uh, is currently picking up the settings and um, 
it can take uh, even a restart on the machine if you are not seeing it but eventually after a few minutes it would appear in the WSS server so if I switch to my WSS server and go under uh, NLB uh, computers um, group you will see that I have the NLB-PC01 that is uh, currently with uh, zero uh, um, updates installed. Um, you will see that uh, it's still not reporting and it will need more time to uh, report the status of the updates. So I will leave it that way and will wait for um, the computer to fully report and we can then try and uh, download any updates from my WSS server and just wanted to show you that under synchronization my last synchronization succeeded with uh, 196 updates so they are now available to be distributed so I'm going to pause the video and continue when the computer um, is fully reachable and we can push the updates so after playing around with the client computer because it was not um, reporting to the WSS server um, basically it was experiencing issues connecting to the WSS and the WSS was uh, saying that uh, this client computer is not able to report I was able to find a solution provided by Microsoft and this is how to reset the Windows update components and if you are experiencing any problems uh, just in case I will provide the link from where you can download uh, the um, executable file it's a simple executable file that will detect uh, any problems on the client machine machine and to reset the components and um, you can see afterwards running this I have um, successfully um, my computer successfully updated in my WSUS server so you can see that it's 97% uh, percent, um, com uh, compliant and uh, there are five updates that need to be installed so I'm going to switch to uh, my client computer and I'm going to open Windows updates from update and security and you can see that uh, it's currently saying that uh, my device is up to date but uh, nevertheless I will uh, click and check for updates once again and on the top you can see that it's saying that some settings are hidden or managed by your organization so this is the group policy settings that we've configured and um, they are pretty much managed by um, our domain controller group policy and of course the WSS server so I'm going to check for updates and we'll leave this to find the updates if it's able to find the missing five updates and uh, we can then confirm that the WSS deployment is uh, a successful one uh, but of course another thing that I wanted to show you if you go to the updates and all updates I will see that I have five updates that are currently not approved so I'm going to approve the updates to NLB computers okay approved for, for install and click OK and it did approve the update so uh, I'm going to switch back to um, the computer again it checked and did not found anything but uh, let's see right now if uh, this is going to be the case once again it should find and pick up the five updates that I've just approved so this is another thing that you need to consider instead of uh, waiting for Microsoft to approve the updates you need to go and uh, do it manually yourself of course uh, this can help you to um, test the updates before deploying them into your environment so you can approve the updates to be deployed to a specific test computer group and uh, just um, leave the computers uh, to be uh, evaluated for a week for example and if there are no issues with any third-party software that you're using you can then go ahead and approve the updates for all of the computers in your environment okay so thinking about it a bit uh, it's currently saying that it's initializing the updates 
and these are the five updates that I've approved so you can see them they are going to be downloaded and then installed from the WSS server and one more thing to mention when you approve the updates they will start downloading on the WSS server themselves so you need to wait some time for the updates to download on the WSS and then on the client so I'm going to leave uh, the updates to um, fully download and install on this client and then we can wrap up the video by checking the report and see if uh, the machine is fully compliant now or if there are indeed any other uh, updates or things that can be installed. So after my client uh, machine was able to connect to my WSS server and download some updates I'm going to show you the reports in the WSS section and before you can run any of the reports you need to install two things one is the Microsoft System CLR types for Microsoft SQL Server 2012 you can see the file right here and the other one is uh, the report viewer package Microsoft report viewer um, 2012 uh, runtime so after you install the two packages they are pretty much click 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 and finish um, so uh, I'm going to link the description or in the description below the um, download uh, paths so you can download them and install uh, on your WSS servers so you can see that uh, we have um, the report so um, I'm going to just leave the default settings and run the report and let's see what will uh, the report look like so it's currently being generated and if I expand this you will see that um, you can see that it's a really beautiful report and it's reporting um, this report for example is the update status summary so you can schedule these reports and you can uh, send them on a, for example every week or every month so you can have reports on what is being up updated what is missing so uh, let's see any other reports um, that synchronization results for, for for example so we can run this one and just wait for for it to finish and you can see uh, what was synchronized what was uh, downloaded and it can give you quite uh, detailed and granular information so you can keep track of your updates and keep track on the status of the WSUS server this was uh, the overview and how you can install and configure WSUS. Uh, if you like the video, you can always hit the like button and subscribe to NLB Solutions. If you don't like the video, you can always hit the dislike button, leave a comment and tell me what can be improved in the future so we can improve. That's our main idea, to improve every day. This was Nick from NLB Solutions. Thank you very much for viewing and see you in the next video.